Hey guys, Dirt here. What'd you think of the new intros? Aren't those awesome? Working on some new stuff around here. Hope you noticed. But today, of course, is time for the news desk. Talking about toy news from this past week. And our lead story here, not sure how long this has been going on as a problem, but there are bootleg NECA turtles on eBay. And you should be aware. Taking a look at eBay right now, you can find turtles on eBay in their individual uh, tube packaging. Uh, and from looking at the listing on eBay, it seems like they're actually legitimate. It doesn't seem like there's any real problem. However, one of the users on the Technodrome forum started his investigation. The user's name was TCRI. And he noticed that the uh, Ninja Turtles coming off of eBay didn't look the same as the ones he had bought in the past. So again, not sure how long ago all of this uh, started, but it's been probably at least a year uh, that this has been going on, but they're still on eBay. So we're bringing attention to you now. Uh, looking at them closely, when you can get side-by-side -side comparisons, there are features that stand out as being different. The paint application, the actual shapes of some of the uh, feet and the uh, ankle joints are completely off. Um, one of the users, uh, uh, TCRI, actually paint rubbed off on his thumb because it was so fresh and new on the figure that was shipped to him. So obviously these are freshly produced. The shells look a different color. Uh, the turtles, actually their green color looks a little more bluish. Uh, they smell like fresh paint. They actually smell like the really cheap paint, the stuff that kind of gets you high if you huff it a little bit. Maybe that's an extra bonus for some people. Not exactly sure, but regardless, this came from a current eBay seller named buy for you 2012 buy for you 2012 has a lot of items for sale. No idea if they are all bootlegs, but you should be aware. Selling a complete set of Jazzwares uh, Sonic figures. Um, and then this one kind of caught my eye. He calls these 5.6 inch Marvel Universe Avengers figures, uh, and he sells a complete set of seven of them for $20.99. So I'm guessing, because uh, he offers free shipping, that for $20.99 you are not getting an authentic pack of seven six-inch figures. And of course, he says they're not actually six inches, they're 5.6 inch, which is generally what happens when you take a figure and then you recast it and you make it, it shrinks down a little bit. Uh, so be warned that that stuff is out there. All right, next up. Spoke with uh, David Vonner on the Necessary Evil podcast. Hope you guys check that out. But when we talked to him, it was right before he was leaving for Jazzwares. Um, he was actually, we were talking to him on a Sunday night. A Monday morning, he got on the plane, went down to Jazzwares. Couldn't really say what he was doing because he didn't know yet. But we've got word from Jazzwares' official Facebook page. Uh, they say that David Vonner is taking over the Mortal Kombat line. Now, I don't know if this means just the four-inch figures that are basically the Marvel Universe versions of Mortal Kombat figures, which, of course, he is known as the guru of the Marvel Universe figures, but he could also be taking over the six-inch line as well. Both of those lines need a lot of love, and David Bonner is probably the guy to get it done. So looking forward to what's going to come out in the future from Jazzwares on their Mortal Kombat line. All right, other news. We've got the Masterpiece Soundwave coming out. This one's going to run you about 150 bucks uh, plus shipping. But man, is this thing beautiful. And it has the correct alt mode. Tape player. Not a jet. Not a car with a good sound system, but a cassette player. He even comes with cassettes. Laserbeak. Hey, yeah, you remember those? Used to make those things, play music. Again, 150 bucks, but well worth it. I don't know if I can break down and buy one, but I'm tempted. We also got a Masterpiece Red Alert. Um, now, he's a uh, race car who works for the fire department. Not sure exactly why fire departments need a race car, but hey, master for, a Masterpiece version of him as well. So I'll leave fans looking forward to that. That will be coming. Uh, we've also got from Kotobukiya this Metal Gear Rex kit. Uh, this is going to be a kit set that you assemble yourself. Uh, lots of pieces. Looks fantastic. One of the neat things, though, is it comes with little, little bitty people. I don't even know how well. 
I don't know how well that shows up for you guys, but these are tiny, tiny little people. You got uh, shirtless uh, liquid snake. You got solid snake with his uh, rocket launcher, uh, bazooka, whatever that he uses to destroy Rex there at the end. Uh, and then you've got uh, a couple ninjas. You've got ninja ready to do battle, and then it looks like dead ninja. Not sure exactly on the other one. But still, awesome little people to go with your kit set. Uh, and then finally, more Minimates news for Comic Fest, which they're calling, you know, in May, in the beginning of, uh, you know, the year, in springtime, they do free comic book day where you can go into your comic book shop and get free comics. Well, they decided to do something kind of similar for Halloween. They're calling it Comic Fest, and your local retailers can buy comics to give away. Now, keep in mind... Because they are free to you doesn't mean that they are free to your comic book store. Uh, your comic book store actually has to pay for this stuff in order to give it to you free. But when you go in looking for free comics, they will have for sale this additional set of Minimates figures. So those of you looking for some neat new Walking Dead Minimates, you're going to get this black and white two-pack of Dale and the female zombie that eats him in the show. Hopefully that's not a spoiler, but it's, I mean, season two... Uh, hopefully you've watched season two by now. If not, eh, Dale doesn't make it. Sorry to break it to you. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this week. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to PopCultureNetwork.com. Uh, we're going to have a new column from Nick the Toy Columnist. He's actually starting a second one. This one's called The Spotlight. He actually has a title for that one. Uh, that'll be starting soon. And then we might have a new toy reviewer in the works. Hmm? Just, we're going to keep that one on the down low, just between you and me for right now. Working on a new toy reviewer guy coming in on the site. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.